Hi, this is John Risby of Choose Woodbridge. This is a video about our change of a website. The website journey that we have is we have a current website that we've had for several years and we're looking either to revamp it to bring it up to standard, modern standard, or to actually have a brand new website. So the background to this is that we conducted several internal meetings and reviews with our people to establish criteria and requirements. On the criteria side, Choose World Bridge is a tourist and business association. So we needed to make sure that we had appeal to these factions. The website needed to be engaging and interesting. On our requirements, we needed to look for a minimum at least three local website designers. We needed the platform to be user-friendly and that the content and themes could be changed. Obviously, we wanted to accommodate content, photos and video and maps. We conducted our investigation by sourcing potential candidates, checking online reviews of these companies, reviewing their previous projects and basically looking at their stability. Within our preparation, we created the scope of work. We put this inside a request for quotation and we spoke to the prospective candidates for general discussions on how this was all going to come about. We then submitted the inquiry and we gave them the two options. One was to revamp our current website or the other one was to create a new one. The evaluation of the proposals. This was based on the information that they provided. Um, importantly, understanding what we wanted, their enthusiasm behind the project, the timescales and of course cost. We then conducted Zoom meetings with three design candidates. We concentrated on understanding of our needs, the time scale and the design. And the most importantly, that when it was all complete, that we were able to change and update the information ourselves. So how did we choose? We chose the company who provided ideas and enthusiasm ahead of the awarding of the project, apart from also providing a detailed proposal. Of course, cost was a key factor as usual, but we needed to be comfortable that the candidate would produce the website we wanted. Building and design. With the winning designer, we went through the platform best for us to decide on whether WordPress, Joomla or Drupal was more suitable. Our decision was that we would use Joomla, basically because we understood that we were able to put more than one theme within our website, so layouts could be changed. On the building and design, the key to the website was the homepage and a lot of the time was spent with several different designs to try and get this page correct. Our feeling was that that's the first page that everybody will see um, and it needs to be engaging to move forward. So now we're looking at part of our homepage, which, um, which is covering both the aspects of the tourists and also for the businesses as you can see part of it. The next is still with the home page um, and the different sections are now starting to come together. The event section is at the lower part, but it's all there. So it encompasses quite, quite a large aspect. The two main sections for our website were tourism and businesses. So the slide that you're looking at at the moment is part of the tourism, which has got two aspects to it, which is the floor and the places of interest. On the business side, there is a uh, directory, 
with all the listings of all the local companies and they are covered again at the home page with the shopping and food and drink aspects. Businesses can actually sort of go one step further on the uh, website where they have a listing, but they also will get a second page. This second page gives them everything that they need. They've got photographic information there, galleries, business details. They can even have a video. So they can do all of this with registration online and they can manage their page as many times as they want. We mustn't forget the social media side of life, which is very important in today's world. So we have a separate section for that. It's covered under the news and you have the social media and then you have the blog. The slide here is just showing um, a small part of the social media. So within all of the building, we were attending regular meetings with the design company. Um, we had a test site which was available to us at all times and was constantly being updated day by day. This test site was, is not live, but it was open to the designer and to choose what bridge. Two way conversations, the suggestions and observations were taking place virtually every week to make sure that we corrected anything that we didn't want to appear. So at completion, as far as we're concerned, we have achieved a very engaging website. We think it's very suitable for both the businesses and the tourists alike. So all in all, it was a very exciting journey <laughs> and we're very proud of the website that we have. Just a thing on lessons learned. Time scales always increase. So don't forget to allow contingency on this. Um, we were looking originally about having eight to 10 weeks to build the site. Um, and I think we were, we were by over 12, 14. So don't forget also to discuss and review at all stages. Keep in contact with your designer. The content is crucial. And it's surprising how much content that you do need when you're building websites. Don't forget the little extras though. They all add up, so keep an eye on the budget. So at the end of it, was it worth it? Definitely, it was brilliant. A big thank you to the East Suffolk Council and to the East Suffolk Town Initiative for the funding which enabled us to achieve this project. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.